No, I know it causes some problems on the roads, but we need it for so many different reasons. And yes, our air quality is looking good. Take a live look at the Ochre Mountain camera. And actually, things are looking a little bit more calm throughout the Salt Lake Valley. You are still seeing overcast, gray, gloomy skies. The roads are still wet, but those showers are taking a little bit of a break. Even down at Zion National Park, cloudy, but you're getting some peaks of blue right now as well. So let's take a look at our satellite radar. I'll show you where some of those showers are still coming down right now. Along the Wasatch Front, it's going to be on and off the throughout the rest of today and actually some of that uh, the heaviest rain at this point is coming down along our northern Wasatch Front, stretching from Tremonton down to Brigham City and actually just west of I-15. Some snow up in the mountains. Light, light rain showers right now from Ogden down to Layton. Just about 30 minutes ago, it was coming down a little bit heavier, but things are very light at this point. Same with Salt Lake County, uh, mainly northern Salt Lake County down in southern Salt Lake County from Midvale to Draper. Showers are a little bit more moderate, and then you're also seeing some of that letting up in Provo, but even though some some of this is starting to die down just a little bit. It's going to pick back up at times throughout today. So it's going to be on and off in some periods of heavier downpours. You see some rain showers even in southern Utah from Beaver to Cedar City. Very light rain showers in St. George right now. And in Salt Lake City, still chilly, 47 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, no breeze. But things are going to turn a little bit breezy this afternoon. And all along the Wasatch Front, holding on to those mid to upper 40s right now. 42 in Park City, 52 in Twilla. Up in the Cottonwoods, you're still getting some snow right now and we're at 65 in St. George and let's take a look at how much rain we could see by the end of this storm system. So really anywhere things have changed a little bit over the, the last hour but under a quarter of an inch for many folks along the Wasatch Front, northern Wasatch Front seeing almost a third of an inch of rain. The farther south you are the less you have uh, of really uh, accumulating some of that rain and then also we're going to get some bursts of heavier snow this afternoon as well in some of the areas that are favored with this storm. It's going to be the Cottonwoods and Tony Grove. We've got that southwesterly flow. So uh, up to a foot is possible in these areas. Our western Uinta, 6 to 8 inches, 2 to 6 in our Wasatch Mountains and then our central and southern mountains. Seeing just a couple inches of snow. Uh, we're going to really see that dropping down to about 7,000 to 8,000 feet this afternoon. And then we could see that rain and snow mix along our higher benches by later today, early tomorrow morning. In Salt Lake City today, low 50s. It's going to be cool, breezy, and rainy. You're going to need the umbrella all day, and there's going to be some periods of heavy rain. 69 in St. George today, 45 in Park City. You can see it's kind of a mild storm, but we have a lot of moisture wrapped around it, and that's why we're going to see some, some more of that rain this afternoon. Tonight, you'll start to see those showers slowly but surely tapering off, especially after midnight as we drop down to the low 40s, but you could see some lingering rain showers early tomorrow morning. We'll start drying out in the afternoon. Southern Utah, things are going to slowly but surely start warming up as we go into our weekend. You'll be in the low 70s for your Saturday and Sunday, and Veterans Day is going to look really nice, feeling good in the low 70s. In northern Utah, a little different story for you. It'll be cooler, partly cloudy tomorrow. It'll be really pretty in the afternoon. Veterans Day brings another round of showers, mainly in the morning, though. So it's not going to be rainy all day, Max. And then high pressure builds. We're going to warm up this weekend. Low 60s is going to feel good for November, about 5 to 10 degrees above our average. Mm -hmm. So we get the rain that we need right now, and then we'll have some time to enjoy the outdoors this upcoming week.